20 minutes of work down to 20 seconds of time lapse. If only all detailing could be this fast. Tuesday greetings from Autostore and you might think that we only do supercars, mainly Porsches and Ferraris, but uh, this is neither of those. This is a run-of-the-mill family car. So it's not just uh, expensive posh uh, supercars that we do, but any car is obviously worthy of um, having some detailing. This has just had uh, GTNX Crystal Serum Light and ISM, uh, Kamikaze ISM. Uh, to protect it and it's going out very shortly. I will do a walk around for you now. So there we have it, uh, nice to have a fairly straightforward job um, after the difficulties of the SQ5 last week, a video which I have just uploaded and the, oh, the rolling shutter image, that I think it's called rolling shutter where you get those lines coming up, up and down, that was these, apparently these um, give out light at a certain frequency, you have to set your shutter, so if I change, can you change, there we go, so now can you see it flickering, I'm looking at the screen by the way, um, you see it flickering and if I put it back to 100, the flicker goes. Uh, no more headaches for you viewers. I will try to remember to um, set that in future. Um, anyway, this is going out uh, either tonight or tomorrow. I haven't heard from the customer today. Uh, I need to give the room a quick clear up because no matter how tidy I try and be, I always end up making a mess. Um, that's it, I will uh, speak to you tomorrow. And it's now Thursday and I'm working on this little golf and while it might not get many likes on Instagram or Facebook uh, it doesn't get any less uh, get any less love doesn't get any less love get less love less attention get less attention <laughs> it's not getting any less attention to detail than any of the other cars I work on uh, I worked on for the same customer a VW Charan earlier in the week and that had crystal serum light and ISM applied to it this is having the same thing, uh, but because this is a, a used car, it's done about 4,000 miles, it's getting a bit of a polish first before the crystal serum goes onto it. Crystal serum light, not crystal serum. I need to mop the floor. Oh, let me show you my mop. And I blatantly nicked this from Jim at White Details. Um, I saw he had one of these on his Instagram. Thought, that's just the kind of little gadget I like. So this is a slightly used car and for the G10 to be applied, uh, the paint needs to be properly cleaned up. So I'm using some Car Pro Essence and this microfiber pad on a DA. Just to go over the paint, it's not really correcting, it does a little bit of correcting, uh, but mainly it cleans the paint up and gets it ready for the Crystal Serum Light, which I will be applying later. <laughs> using a microfiber pad it gets very matted and I use an airline to get all of that out so that you don't get dust over your whole room uh, use a bucket with some water sprayed around the sides and then when you airline it off the spray sticks to the water All of that dust would otherwise be all over the unit, all over the floor, all over the worktop. But now it's safely contained inside the bucket. So thank you, Jim.
now it is time for G-Technic Crystal Serum Lights, which is gonna go all over the paint on this car. At the suggestion of a customer, I am actually gonna do a tutorial on each individual product. So like there'll be a separate video on how to apply Crystal Serum Lights, another video on how to apply EXO, another video on how to apply G1, for example. And I might start filming those next week. I was gonna do the video for the Crystal Serum Light on this car, but on a silver, it's quite difficult to see where it's being applied to. So next week, I've got a Boxster, which is in, I can't remember what it's called, but it's kind of like a limey yellow, metallic which looks quite nice and hopefully the uh, the sealant will show up a lot better on that paint right it is 5 30 time for a cup of tea and then get the crystal serum lights onto this car Hands down, these are the best biscuits ever. Mm. Right, it's uh, now Friday. It's been a bit of a hectic day. The body's all finished and I've shown plenty of the crystal serum and the ISM over the last few vlogs. Now I'm doing the wheels, they're getting coated with G-Technic C2 on the inside and out. Before putting the tyre dressing on, it's important to get the tyre as clean as possible. So this is a clean microfiber and just sprayed some tyre and glue remover on and give the tyre a good scrub because you see all that muck that comes off it. All of that is old tyre dressing and just road grime. And if you put tire, new tyre dressing over that, all you're going to do is just cake it on top and it's not going to look good. If you clean the tyre up properly, then the new tyre dressing that you apply is not only going to look better, but it's going to last longer as well. Right, it's not actually as dark as it looks out here on camera. Uh, finished the golf a little bit early, gonna get the box to wash ready for next week. The great thing about doing it at this time of night is you can get the whole thing wet and it's gonna stay nice and wet for a long time, not gonna dry out. So that means the chemical has longer to work on the car and I don't have to rush around as much. In the summer, you have to kind of do one little section at a time, but this time of night, it's a bit chilly, getting damper, and it's uh, a lot easier to wash a car, actually. Music 